So we're back with the Generac GP3300i. Let's figure out why it won't start. So the last time I used this generator, I ran it for about seven hours straight with a power outage, flawless, no problem whatsoever. I went to use it last week and pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, didn't start, uh, which is very unusual. That doesn't happen. Usually three to five pulls tops and we're good to go. So I went ahead and took the side cover off. You know, I checked the oil, made sure that was okay and not, not a low level shutdown. The first thing I noticed was this choke was missing the retaining ring or c-clip what do you want to call it so that i found it like that so when you go to uh from off to run and choke so that's run and that's choke to get you started so i figured okay it wasn't choked it wasn't gonna run so fix that by just Putting that back in there for the time being. I've got some wire I'm going to wrap around that. That didn't work. So I said, okay, let's go ahead and, you know, take off the air filter. Maybe a little huff of starting fluid. That didn't do that either. Pulled the spark plug out. Looked fine. Had a spark plug tester. A little light came on. We know we were getting good spark. Um, still had compression. I could feel it in the string. I could hear it. So compression wasn't an issue. I popped the valve cover off here. Uh, the rockers were moving, the push rods were moving, the valves were moving. Um, then I went ahead and took the carburetor off, pulled that all apart. Uh, it's pretty simple on this one. It's just, you know, one nut to get the fuel bowl off and nut here and on the back side to kind of pull this whole assembly out. So what I ended up finding is that this stepper motor right here, which electronically controls the throttle body butterfly valve so you know to regulate rpm under varying loads so when you load it up it opens up the throttle body more and produces more power so what was happening is that this was stuck fully open so it was only pulling air and pulling no fuel through into the engine so what i ended up doing is manually moving this with my finger here it might be hard to see but this is what uh, controls the throttle body right here. There you go. So the stepper motor is what's responsible for for throttle modulation. So it, I was able to get it started by closing the throttle body and opening it maybe 20%, let's say, got it to run. And then this was going straight to wide open and it was just choking itself out. So... I manually held it at, you know, I, I'm going to guess, again, 25, 30% open because there's no load right now. And I was able to run. And then after a while, it seemed to relearn where it should be. So I'm not sure if this is defective or there's some issue with the control going on here. But what I did do is buy another one from wherever that is. Uh, same, you know model number there matches right up uh it wasn't even 15 dollars, so i figured that'll be a good place to start so what i'm gonna do is get that swapped over i'm gonna try to figure out where the wires run i think it's somewhere down in here when i have that apart enough to show you guys i'll pick the camera back up and walk you through that all right so that is the plug which is just tucked tucked back there so I kind of took a few more screws out to kind of push this out of the way a little bit um, I could take this off if I need more room to let that slide <clears throat> so the wire looks like it's just gonna feed feed around there okay and this is the pin drive pin actuator it actually sits down in there and controls the throttle body. All right, so let me snake this through. And I'll be right back. So got that unplugged, and we're gonna yank gently. You know, everything's a lot more difficult one-handed, but 
gonna route that around this line here. I do wanna note there was one clip Let's see. Right there that you do have to pull out. I just used a flathead screwdriver. So once it is unclipped, it should just come out like that. Okay. So this is a little clip that holds holds the wire in. And I also found the C clip buried in there. That goes to this. So let's compare the new and old part and see if they match up. Well, they look the same aside from the wire length, which that shouldn't be a big deal. This was the original one, HS Co. Limited. Um, this one looks even less good, less gooder. Um, but we're going to give it a shot. I mean, it's same model number, same voltage. Uh, the wiring colors are the same. I checked the pinouts here. Um, those are identical as well. So we're going to give this a shot. I'll just wrap up the extra wire somewhere in there and jam that back in there and see what it does. Okay, so to get the stepper motor back aligned with the throttle body, I had to kind of work this around to get that pin to line up correctly. I did get that T-clip back on here. I have the wire plugged in and tucked up in there, which you can't see. Maybe. Oh, there you go. Plug tucked up in there, right where it was. So I'm gonna start putting at least half this back together. I'm gonna go take it outside and uh, I'm working inside because it's raining and my garage out there is wet. So. I'm going to hope that when I go to fire this up, uh, this stepper motor will be, uh, it'll work. Let's see. 